Hi everybody, this weekend we went to go visit Grandma and while we were there uh, we were passed by the um, garbage a garbage can that was right next to the front door um, where the, everybody in the condos can put things and throw things away recycle whatnot and this lamp was sitting right next no it was not in the dumpsters it was not in the garbage cans it was just sitting on the sidewalk next to it um, and after looking at it my husband said you know I think I can fix that the only thing wrong with it was right at the base here it was loose so after looking at the shade here and noticing that there was not a thing wrong with it um, we decided to take a chance and bring it home we would not be out any money because obviously we didn't buy it it was completely free and if for some chance it did not work I could easily throw it away in my own garbage um, it took maybe five minutes my husband tightened it up we got a uh, light bulb for it and it works it's um, a little loose right here, but look at that lampshade. It is so pretty. It matches everything in this room. It is completely free. I do not have any idea as to why they set it out to the curb. It's got a little design right here. That is so cute. Right there, and if, I don't want to blind you, but if you look up right here, it still has the tag. Tuesday morning, 1999 on closeout. Still has the tag on it. And uh, it came from a smoke-free condo because there is no scent on it. It looks in very nice condition. So it actually paid off to be a garbage picker yesterday. Don't judge me because I picked the garbage. I'm sure some of you guys have done that in the past too. But look at how nice that looks. I will have to hide the cord underneath there, wrap it up so it's not unsightly and hanging down. But it makes a nice little arrangement and I am so pleased with my very free find. I didn't even have to buy the light bulb. We already had it. It is so pretty. So there, I'm just passing this along. Keep your eyes open, and it sometimes it does pay to be a garbage picker. Here's a fast tip that I wanted to pass along to you if you do drink wine and you're like us and you like to collect the corks. I had been looking for a cork holder. Right now I'm just currently throwing them in my vase, but as, as you can tell, they are overflowing. Um, I saw some really cute uh, cork baskets, little cute designs, and they have like wine cork. Very, you know, French country, but they were $30. Right now, we are a one income family, and I cannot afford $30 without saving for a couple of weeks, of course. And so I saw on a blog where this lady had used a um, canning jar. Now, I had this one. From Ohio, we had our horse mints. We kept our horse mints in there. I washed it up, and I'm going to fill it up with our corks and keep it on the counter, and it does the job. And it's cute, and it looks very French country without any cost. Here's a, and look, plenty of room for some more.